program initiate. Access denied. Who listens to that garbage? I don't care. to that garbage.
program initiated. Access denied. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access denied. Milena, I got into the ARG permit registry. Hold on. That should give me access now as well. Why am I seeing a security timer? Probably because neither of us have done this before. Cross your fingers. I borrowed this employee ID from a guy in a bar. Why does it say there's only one validation slot? Shit, shit, shit! The city has quotas for this kind of thing. Prague is designed to regulate people to death. 
What does that mean? The system won't let this guy register two people. Just scan something. There isn't much time. Help one person at least. Good. Edward's documents should hold up to any kind of scanning check now. He's as legit as he can be, without actually being legit. I came here to help two people. It doesn't always work that way. Look, you need to get out of there, please. Malena, that permit I wasn't able to scan. What happens to Irenka now? She probably ends up in Golem. Or she gets arrested for trying to use fake documentation. Thrown into a cell somewhere. I don't know. Doesn't exactly feel like a win, does it? No, it doesn't. We did the best we could. Listen, thanks for being one of the good guys. Hezký vybavení. Skoro mi připadá, že jsme v komoutu s rusákama. Ten hajzl leze do řití a dostane povýšení. have done. <clears throat> I get blamed for everything. Out of the natural line. All right, I saw your fancy license. No need to rub my nose in years ago. is off limits or your buck. Private function. All businesses are temporarily closed. Stay away from here. Everybody spouts their opinions online, so they can fool themselves into believing someone gives a shit. It's all right here! Trace 
program initiated. Access granted.
Try to be a hero. Tell me you saw that too. Seems like I found a familiar right here. Bring me his college riddle. Oh. Gone. He can't be gone. Like these mind games. No, I want to. <laughs> Could be the police. Ah, Let's we'll go see what the game. problem is. Stay Die away. so we can live! An attack! No! Stay down! I'll keep watch from here! 
Jensen! Thank God! I'm down in the dungeon, man! You remember the title of my super-secret book, right? I remember it's red.
Jensen, my favorite techno wonder kind. Sorry about the goons, man. They, uh, they didn't give you too much trouble, did they? They're not gonna be a problem anymore. What do they want? You behind on your protection money? I... I don't think it's about money. I got this little misunderstanding with their boss, Otar. You know how it is with these gangster types. Enough to know that there's no such thing as a little misunderstanding. Vivali internal politics. I... I'm gonna get it sorted. Gonna see the big boss myself. As soon as things settle down. The day after a bombing, man, it's... Well, I mean, it's scary, right? I'm surprised people go out at all. Sometimes people don't have a choice. My systems took a hit. I was hoping you could help me get everything running again. Took a hit? You mean... Oh, shit! Why didn't you say so? We need to get you in the chair. The chair. You know I've always wanted to get a closer look at those saddy fogs of yours. A real close look. So, uh... So let's strap you in, get the gas going, and then... Well, then I just need to sort of dive in. Uh, feel my way around. Hang on a sec, you gonna put me under for how long? What if the Diwali send reinforcements? Oh, you're just stalling. Those illiterates aren't going to get in here. Don't be scared of the chair, okay? The chair is gentle. I promise. This thing with the Diwali is nothing. Otar's pissing where he shouldn't. I count on you to fix me, Kohler. To some extent, your problems are my problems. That's sweet, Jensen. Otar Botkoveli is the Diwali number two guy. The men outside, they were his men. But the big boss man is Radic Nikolatze. He is the number one guy. And I know Radic, so... So don't worry about it. Now, are we gonna do this procedure, or what? What exactly are you going to do to me? I'm not sure yet. First, I gotta get in there to see what's wrong. But don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything to you I wouldn't do to myself. I promise. Besides, you've been here a few times. You know I'm professional. You've never had to put me under before. I never saw you the day after an explosion before either. That was a big shock to your system, man. Kaboom! Now, you want me to fix you, or not? Alright, let's just get this over with. Relax, Jensen. It's... it's gonna be fine. You... you won't even know I'm in there. You'll feel weightless, far away, like you're someone else. But Kohler's gonna bring you back and make you you again. Before you know it. I swear I didn't mean to... Your retinal display should be back soon. You can still move, right? What, what did you... I was... I was trying to connect the unconnected. But you've got some strange fucking augs back there. I mean, I, I probably shouldn't have... Uh, here, let me get you some water. Or something stronger, maybe? Water. You got it, Jensen. Just, uh... Just ease up. Don't freak out. Rebooting was the only way to save you. Save me from what, Carl? Core meltdown. You almost melted my chair. So I reset you, and I found these... these, uh... I think it's better if I show you what I found. Bring up your system display. You need to see this for yourself. These are your implants. You're familiar with all these, right? Yeah. David Seraph installed them. Took two years for my body to get used to everything. Right. Well... I had to undo some of that getting used to. What's going on, Kohler? Why do I feel different? Something was trying to vampire the juice out of you. 
I couldn't figure out what until after the reboot. Turns out your Factory Zero is not the standard Factory Zero. What am I looking at? Experimental fucking test dogs, man. Hidden inside your body. You're telling me I got more implants than I thought I did? More than your body can handle. Pretty cool, right? I'm not sure yet. I want to show you what happens when you activate one of these suckers. See that? Major spike in your power consumption! Where the hell did these things come from? I can't answer that. All I know is the explosion must have woken them up. But man, you wanna use these crazy fucking things? That's your right. We just gotta make sure it doesn't fry you. Now, I think I maybe got an idea on how to do that. Try shutting down one of your other implants. You know, just for fun. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. See that? Cooled you right down. You have the power to balance your system if you want. Just, you know, don't activate everything all at once. What would happen if I did? Well, you'd suffer some major glitches due to overheating. We're talking risk of permanent damage. So, you know, maybe don't do that. All right. Reset me now, Kohler. I'll reactivate what I need myself. Okay. So I'm not always gonna be there for you like this. I can't just follow you around to reset things and hold your neural weave together. Whatever choices you make from here on out, they're your choices. Thought you were supposed to be my AUG expert. I specialize in Chinese black market, okay? The shit I found hidden inside you, spliced into your system like that, looks to me like it's from Mars, man! I'm pretty sure they're not from Mars. I just... I feel bad. You deserve answers I can't give you. I can help manage your system better than anyone in Prague. They help you make the most of the new augs we just found. But you can't tell me where the hell they came from. As far as I know, David Seraf installed all my augs. There's something inside me I don't know about. He's the one I need to talk to. I am familiar with Saris' work. These new augs, they... They look different to me. I mean, that neodymium shell. Who uses dimorphic magnetoreological fluid like that? Seriously, if you talk to Sarif, you need to ask him that. Shit really stands out. Pretty fucking cool, actually. You ever seen anything like this before? An AUG system that's deliberately hidden like that? I don't know, Jensen. I mean, I heard of people getting the black market treatment before. Pass out in Prague, wake up in Shanghai. But usually, they wake up with less augs, not more. What exactly makes these augs so different from my other ones? They look like experiments, is what. Loose wiring everywhere, man. It's, it's like half of you is uh, untested, unfinished, unbelievable. It's... it's beautiful, is what it is. Why would Seraph have hidden these things inside me? I don't get it. I am not convinced this is a Sarif job. The tech itself is super high-end, but the PDOT insulation, sloppy. 
The bone mounting mounted on the quick. Just doesn't have saddest touch. Looks more like a retrofit to me. Something much more recent. Well, what are you thinking? I'm thinking how much I hate being unconscious. You said these additions look recent. How recent? Within the last two years, give or take. Something happened to you in that time? I was pulled out of the ocean and put in some facility in Alaska to recover. It was a few months there that... The more I try to remember, the blurrier it gets. Shit, Jensen. That's terrifying. This tune-up went longer than I expected. Let's wrap this up. Right. Here, take some Praxis kits for the trouble. Praxis solves everything. Keeps customers happy. Just, uh, remember what I showed you about managing your juice. It's gonna be a balancing act for you. Well, unless... Unless what, Kohler? There could be a way to optimize. It's just... It would involve getting something from Otar. A neuroplasticity calibrator. There's a way for me to use everything I have without compromise. I want to know about it. I was hoping you'd say that. I order all my fancy tech from this illegal catalog, right? But... My last shipment got intercepted... by Otar Botkoveli. The same Otar whose men were looking for books out there before? I am not going to force you. I want you to want to do it. I want you to want to be an augmented god among men. If that sounds like something that interests you, then you should know that Otar runs an underground casino in the Chisti district. The entrance is in a small courtyard off Hlavni Street. Thanks for the info, Kohler. Thanks for the praxis. Man, you know I love you, Jensen, but we both have work to do. What do you need? I spoke to Sarah earlier, before you made your little discovery. He got in touch with me after seeing footage of the train station attack. You should talk to him again. I mean, if it was me, if, if there was something inside me and I didn't know where it came from, I would want whatever answers I could get. You're saying you know where every single piece of you comes from? I am not fancy like you, but we are similar in some ways. Both stuff with more tech than our bodies can handle. Both pushing the limits of augmentation. The big difference is I am my own maker, Jensen. There is no one for me to thank or to blame but myself. This calibrator you need, what is it exactly? It's a device that allows me to measure and manipulate neuronal connections. I mean, I can eyeball with the best of them, but for any type of advanced procedure, so you can't optimize my system without this device? An Otar just happens to have it. I was having a shipment of tools delivered to somewhere I shouldn't have. An Otar intercepted. I'm sorry, Jensen. This situation I got with the Diwalis, it's not really your problem. I'm starting to think it is. What else do I need to know about Otar? Otar Botkoveli is the second in command of the Diwali crime family here in Prague. People say he is a good guy to have on your side. And if you're not on his side? Then you hide behind a wall and hope Otar doesn't find you. It's frustrating, Jensen. I... I got this deal with Otar's boss, Radic Nikolazzi. Way under the table, super secret. The Diwali are supposed to stay away from me. Guess Otar didn't get the memo. Tell me more about your relationship with the Diwali. What exactly are you caught up in? Well, you see, it's... 
It's not so much a relationship. Uh, not so much with the Diwalis, per se. It's more of um, an occasional contact with Radic Nikoladze. Alright. So this contact you happen to have with Radic, then? The problem here isn't me so much. Radic has a habit of keeping things from Otar. And Otar, he doesn't like what he doesn't know. So he puts heat on me as a way of putting heat on Radic. Trying to burrow into his secrets, you know? Does Radic have secrets buried here with you? My deal with Radic, part of this deal, is that I don't talk to anyone about my deal. Not Otar, not you, no one. No offense, Jensen, you scared the shit out of me. Otar, he scares the shit out of me. But Radic... Radic is worse than both of you put together. That's all I need for now, Doc. Yeah, yeah, okay. And hey, good luck with that shit. Don't fry yourself, alright? Jensen, it's Miller. Listen, I need your eyewitness report as soon as possible. What's your ETA? Depends on how many cops ask to see my papers. Fuck. Not much I can do about state police after yesterday. It's attack. Get in when you can. Miller out. Daz is the man. He'll set you up. Adam, 
What's going on? I didn't expect to hear from you. I didn't expect my doctor to find dormant augs hidden in my system. What? Dormant experimental augs. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Adam, you know the decisions I made for you two years ago. Yes or no? No! All the work we did on you was above board. You have my word on that. What, uh... What exactly did you find? Experimental test dogs spliced into my system. Kohler said something about a neodymium shell. Who would have designed something like that? God, you've got a tight nog? It's impossible. It was just a concept. You just said this wasn't you. It wasn't. The DOD showed me schematics three years ago and asked me if I thought it could work. It was designed by somebody else, Vadim Orlov. Megan and I interviewed him once, but he wouldn't have fit in. Orlov? Sounds Russian. Who is he? Why wouldn't he have fit in? He was supposed to be a boy wonder, a neuroscience prodigy. Got his master's degree in Moscow, post-grad in the U.S. His grades were off the chart, but his theories were, uh, sketchy at the times. Megan said his ethics were questionable. Megan? Megan Reed said that? The woman who gave you my DNA to experiment with? We didn't hire him, Adam. Two minutes into the interview and I could tell Orloff didn't like his ideas being challenged by anyone. Least of all, a strong woman like your ex. These schematics you saw. Don't suppose you kept a copy? They were classified. I never had a copy. The only reason I even saw them was because the Defense Department valued my opinion. Seraph Industries did good work back in the day. When we signed a schematic, you knew it was solid. I've got to find this guy. Adam, let me track him down for you. I'm leaving for London soon, but I can make phone calls, reach out to people. Seraph Industries may be gone, but my name still carries weight in certain circles. Do it. Contact me by info link when you have something. I won't let you down on this. I never felt right about losing touch with you after Panchea. When I heard you'd shown up in Detroit alive a year after everyone thought you were dead, why didn't you get in touch with us? I couldn't. Rescue crews pulled me out of the ocean and dumped me in a clinic in Alaska. Nobody knew who I was. For a long time, neither did I. My god, son, you don't think... I mean, that could have been when... Find Orlov, Seraph. I've got questions I need answered. I will, I promise. I'll call you. <laughs>